Listing gets the first call on the far outside. Oliver is up close, so is Principe Carlo, along with Lieutenant Dan, and Tap the Wire is in that group as well. Prodigal Son has come through along the inside. Listing, who broke well, is now three lengths off the pace, just inside of Foster Boy. They're followed by Midnight Special, then it's a huge gap back to Daddy Jones and Moonhouse. Down the back stretch they go, and it's Lieutenant Dan along the inside battling for the lead. He is head and head with Tap the Wire, and on the outside of them comes Principe Carlo, three of them across the track, and the pace is swift heading into the far turn. At the rail, Prodigal Son, Foster Boy fifth, only three lengths off the leader. Midnight Special in the red colors is down on the inside, trying to make some progress. Listing White Cap moving up on the far outside into contention, and then Oliver. They pass the quarter pole and turn for home, a wide open scramble. Listing on the far outside, coming after Lieutenant Dan. Foster Boy is in behind horses. Principe Carlo is in the mix too. Down at the rail, Prodigal Son. Lieutenant Dan is the leader coming for home. Lieutenant Dan by two lengths and showing no signs of weakening. It's a huge effort from Lieutenant Dan, who strolls in the Echo Eddy. Second to Principe Carlo in front of Listing, Foster Boy and Prodigal Son. In the winner's circle is number seven, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan is a three-year-old bay gelding by Grayson out of Excusable. Owned by Nick Alexander. The winning trainer is Steve Miotti. And the jockey, Giovanni Franco. That's his second winner on the afternoon. Lieutenant Dan was bred in California by owner Nick Alexander. The running time, one minute, 17.46 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle, making the presentation for the Echo Eddie Stakes is Mr. Doug Burge, the president of the California Thoroughbred Breeders Association. It pays to be Calbred. Up next, the seventh, started the late pick five. Scratch one, Lil Sydney, and 13 of Good Report. Number 14, Deep Thinker, the jockey Evan Roman. Post time in 31 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the winner's circle. Michelle Yu is with owner breeder, Nick Alexander. Thank you so much, Frank. Very exciting race there from Lieutenant Dan. Had a four-length score at Golden Gate, but you said it wasn't as easy as it looked on paper. It was a very salty race for a first condition up there. Every horse in there had a legitimate uh, chance. So he ended up clearing there. So what kind of confidence did that lead for you going into the race today? Well, the first thing Steve asked is, how far is it to that uh, stake? And I said, I think it's 16 days, which seemed a little short. We just jog him into it. We'll see how he's doing. And then in the saddling paddock, he was jumping around for the first time in his life like he wanted to go do it. And he looked uh, I great. I don't know if you saw him in the walking ring, but he kind of took off on the groom once they tried to put the jock up. So he just acted like a new horse. So a definite confidence booster for him. I have to ask about the name. Are you a Forrest Gump fan, or is that another Lieutenant Dan? No, that's where it came from. That's one of my favorite movies. I've seen it 20 times. Only 20, though? <laughs> I'm disappointed, Nick. We have to have a movie night. <laughs> you got it. As usual, guys, it pays to own a Calbred. Another Calbred winner here for Nick Alexander. A stakes win in the Echo Eddie for Lieutenant Dan.